the Superstar export tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover how to export your CCR sequence to be played onto your actual CCRs. Uh, you can see I have the Carol LaBelle sequence open here and I'll play it for just a little bit. That's got some scenes going on at the top here and the star uh, is, is doing some stuff and there's some morphs that come on here and you'll notice I have uh, changed these morphs to be white that's so that uh, we can see what white exports as. Um, before we do the export, we want to click on the Tools menu and select Configuration. And this is so that we can tell the Superstar software what unit IDs we have set in our controllers. At the top of the dialog box, just leave Color Mode and Smooth Ramps alone. And in the Star section here, you can see star in use is already selected that's good and it says unit ID of star controller on my controllers uh, I have two 16 channel controllers and the first one is the one that controls the star and it has unit ID 01 so I'm going to set that there and in the cosmic color ribbon section it just wants to know the unit ID of the first ribbon controller uh, in my case, I have two 16-channel controllers. Uh, they are unit ID 01 and 02, and the first CCR controller is unit ID 03. So I'm going to set that there, and that lets the software know that my first CCR controller is 03, and it's going to require that the rest of the CCRs be set to unit IDs that are consecutive to this. So in my case I have 12 CCRs so the first one is unit ID 03 and the re remaining 11 are going to be the con uh, consecutive unit IDs that follow 03 and so now we go down to the network section you can see it has just the standard network selected well I have two networks so I'm going to want to check the auxiliary network A also and, and then up here it says unit ID of first and last controller that means the first and last controller in each network in my standard network I have two 16 channel controllers and six CCR controllers so that's a total of eight so the f and the first unit ID is zero one and the last unit ID is going to be zero eight in the uh, auxiliary network a my second network uh, the first unit ID is going to be the one that follows 08 which is going to be 09 and then there's six CCR controllers in that network it's the last six CCRs and so it's going to be uh, 09, 0A, 0B, 0C, 0D and 0E 0E is going to be the last unit ID in that network so now that we have all of the unit ID set here we can click on OK and we are ready to export the sequence we click on file and select export and the default name is going to be the name of the sequence with underscore SUP dot LMS added to the end that is so it's clear that this sequence was exported from the Superstar software and it also makes it so that if your main sequence is called Carol of the Bells LMS then this file name will not conflict with that so we click on save and that uh, created or that exported and created that exported file so now to play that file we're going to want to launch the Lidorama sequence editor and after he comes up here a, you notice I have the existing sequence tab selected and if you click on date modified to sort by the most recent one uh, the, the file that you exported will be listed at the top in this case you see carol the bells underscore sup dot lms and I always look at the date modified the date and time and to make sure that's what I expect and that is and so I select that and click OK and these files are uh, typically large so it does take a little bit for the sequence editor to open them uh, there it is <clears throat> so this is the sequence we exported up at the top here are 16 channels of a 16 channel controller and it only used the first six channels for the star these 
are the star commands that are controlling the star. And down here at the bottom, you can see are the 12 CCRs. They're in, uh, they're compressed here so that each row here represents one CCR. If we click on the plus button, it gets expanded and you can see all 50 pixels of that CCR. Um, and if we go down to this ribbon and scroll over, we will see these are those white morphs that got exported and you'll see that they're not white, they're sort of a pinkish color. If you hold the mouse over them you'll see that it says the red is completely on, green is at 69 percent, and blue is at 60 percent. Well this is not a bug, this is uh, the, the, this, the software exports white this way by design and it's because the LEDs on the CCRs are not balanced. They are, if you turn them all, the red, green, and blue to full on, it's not a true white, it's a bluish white. And so I have to pull back the green and the blue to get it to be a true white. And um, for the other colors, it, it's, it, it balances them also so that a yellow comes out as a true yellow and an orange is a true orange. Uh, but the consequence of that is that in the sequence editor uh, the colors will look a little bit off. Uh, the best example being white here looking a pink but just realize that's by design and when it gets played to your CCRs it will look white and it will look nice. Um, so now um, this sequence, this is what I call a standalone sequence. Uh, if if you have your um, controllers plugged in and configured properly you would just click on play here and it takes a little while uh, because the file is large uh, the first time you play it it takes a little while to initialize but it does eventually play here and like I said right now if you had your hardware hooked up to it it would be playing to your actual CCRs. Now note that the if you play it again it doesn't take as long to initialize. Um, so that's uh, all there is to it on um, exporting your CCRs. If your CCR sequences uh, it's fairly easy if all you're going to do is uh, have it be a standalone file that you're going to play to your CCRs. If you have a main sequence that um, you want to have your CCRs be a part of then I have a, another tutorial entitled Getting Your CCR Sequences Into Your Main Sequence.